Okay, unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, this is one of those Samsung.com online exclusive colors. And I think they use the same box for all three colors here, the blue, the green, and the, um, the orange. So stay tuned to see what color I did order. Um, and also this came with a uh, standing grip case, as you can see. So we'll check this out as well. But anyway, this is the main event. The S24 Ultra finally got it in my hands. This is the retail version, not a review or pre-production unit or anything like that. This is retail. We'll take a look at the box, S24 Ultra, nothing on this side or actually it says Galaxy S24 Ultra. Very nice information there. And Samsung on this side, nothing up top. And I do like how nowadays they have these like pull tabs now. So you don't really need an unboxing knife anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that off on camera and let's go. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is my first video of this year. So happy new year, 2024, kick things off with an unboxing. And as you can see, I did order the, uh, what do they call this, the blue one, right? Let me know in the comments what the official name is. It's the blue one. And first impressions, this looks pretty cool. It's like an icy blue and it contrasts very well with like the camera modules, etc. I don't know what this is. We need to take this off. We don't need that. I'm gonna flip the device over. And so you can see they do have this black. Whew! Super satisfying. I'm gonna put that away. And here's the phone. Check out the S Pen. I like the matte finish that they're putting on the S24s this year with the sides also being flat or a matte finish. Titanium matte finish. Very nice. Speak grill, USB type C port, microphone, sure, SIM tray. Over here we have some antenna banding, power button. This is the volume rocker. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the device on. Come on, does it have any juice? Almost did a drop test. There we go. On top, you have two microphones, some antenna stuff, and antenna band there. And the rest of this side is clean. We'll take a look at the camera hump and have a look for yourself. We'll compare the hump, the hump diddy hump with the S23 Ultra here. That's about the same. This is the S24, S23, that's about the same. Feels really good to hold. I do like the flat sides, nice. And also the display now is, for the most part, flat. We'll have a look here. Take a look for yourself. Now there is the slightest of curves right at the very edge, right there. If you take a close look, but I mean, that is so minor. I mean, for all intensive purposes, this is a flat display. We'll compare it real quick to the S23 Ultra from last year. We'll compare the curve. So you can see the 23 Ultra here on the right has a little bit more of a curve and it's much less pronounced here on the 24 series for 2024. And we we'll go ahead and turn the display on again, a front 6.8 inch LTPO display. This thing can go from one to 120 Hertz. This is quad HD, very nice. You still got the whole punch camera up front. However, Samsung. When am I gonna see, now I know you did this for the Fold series, but I'd also like to see the invisible camera here up front on the S25 series next year maybe? Come on, I wanna see invisible camera. Let's go. We'll go ahead and press start. 
Let's see, what's the minimum? I don't really want to... Here, I'll do that. Agree. Easy setup with another device. We're gonna set up manually here. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Let's see, let it load. Let's go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi here. I'll let that connect. Preparing for mobile connection. This may take a few minutes. I don't really have a, or I don't have a SIM for this phone just yet. So I'm gonna set that up later in the settings. Copy apps and data. We're not gonna copy anything. We want fresh install. We're gonna sign into Google. I'll do that later. We're gonna skip for now. Just wanna get into the phone real quick. We're gonna disable all this Google stuff. The fingerprint scanner. I'm gonna go ahead and test that out. I'm gonna continue. And then here's the fingerprint. We're gonna register. And let's do this on camera. See how fast it is. Ooh. Nice. Okay. You can see the fingerprint scanner or the indicator is moving around a little bit. 100%. Add another. Now nah, we'll skip that. Next. Fingerprint always on. Show animation when unlocking. Why not? Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. All right, don't have an account. Set up later in settings, okay. Why do I need a Samsung account? I have a Samsung account, but I'll just skip that for now. I'll do that at a later time. Let's see, what's the minimum here? Terms and conditions, okay. Agree. No, disable that, agree. Light or dark? We're gonna go with the dark mode. Welcome to the dark side. You are all set up. Finish. And we are in. So fresh out of the box. Let's go ahead and go into settings real fast. We're going to go to about phone, right? And we're going to go to software information. As you can see, brand new comes with one UI version 6.1 and Android version 14. Fresh, straight from Samsung. Let's see what happens here. So this, there's no like game here or anything. There's no clock anymore. I guess that's it. We'll go to display. I'm gonna turn off adaptive brightness, right? Now the motion smoothness, you wanna make sure that this is set to adaptive. So you get the refresh rate up to 120 Hertz. So you get that super smooth experience now if you want to save a little bit of battery you can go ahead and put it on standard but honestly i would just leave it on adaptive and enjoy using your phone and here we go screen resolution right now out of the box this comes in only at fhd plus as you can see so if you want the maximum resolution go ahead make sure you come in here when you first turn on the phone make sure you click on the qhd so you get the max resolution and also the variable refresh Right. Now, again, if you want to save a little battery, you can just leave it on FHD, but honestly, enjoy your phone, max this out, hit apply, and there you go. Screen timeout, I like five minutes. I go back, navigation bar. Now for me personally, I do like the back button on the left side. So you go to more options, and I'm gonna choose that to switch the back button on the left side, since I do like holding my phone on my left hand, We'll go ahead and go to device care and out of the box. Now, if you did pre-order, Samsung is upgrading your storage or doubling your storage for free. So this is the 512 gigabyte model and brand new. It comes with 485 gigs available. Very nice. So yeah, first impressions of the display, very sharp, very smooth. Now this can get up to over 2000 nits. I think it's 2600 nits to be exact of brightness. So I'm going to jack this up all the way. I'm going to turn that no. I'm going to jack it up all the way. And let me actually switch to the light mode real quick. Switch to the light mode. And as you can see, whoa, that's super bright. It's overexposing on the camera. I'm going to put that back to the dark mode. And you can even turn on extra brightness to make this super bright. Yeah, that's very bright. Wow. Put that back to dark mode. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. There you go. So you can see the display. Yeah, that's very bright. This should be pretty nice to use if you're 
under the bright sunlight in the middle of the day. I expect no less from a 2024 Samsung OLED display. Now let's go ahead and test out the camera real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna take some pictures here. All right, let's go ahead and take a picture of the box here, of the case and the S23. Go ahead and take a picture of this. That's the 0.6. This is the one. 3x zoom, 5x zoom, and 10x zoom right into the lens of the S23. So I'm gonna put that in the video, let me know the quality. All right, let's do a quick video. Now, this is on FHD 30, so make sure you go ahead and select this and make sure it's on UHD 30 for more resolution on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use just the 1X on the sample video. And let's go. All right, this is a sample video from the S24 Ultra. All right, this is a sample video from the S24 Ultra. As you can see, this is my unboxing table. This is the standing grip case. This is the S23 Ultra. Over here is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Here's the box lid. So yeah, just a quick little video here of my table from the S24 Ultra. Let me know how this looks. Let me know how the audio sounds as well. Peace out. Let me know how this looks. Let me know how the audio sounds as well. Peace out. There you go. Now, one of the things that I do want to check out are the new AI features that now come with the S24 series. We are in the gallery app here. So I want to go ahead and try to delete something in this picture. We'll delete one of the camera modules here. As you can see here, you can remaster using AI or you can use the object eraser. Now this is very similar to the Google Pixels object eraser. So let's go ahead and just try this out for the first time. Click on the object eraser. So you can see those three stars, the AI kicking in, right? Let's say I don't like this part of the camera setup right here, right? So go ahead and circle that and erase. Then, you know, let's see what this looks like. And it looks like that. And yeah, if you're not really paying attention, you're not gonna notice that there was actually something there. But if you look closely, I mean, you can kind of tell, let me look at it right now. Yeah, you can kind of tell that there was something there, just like a little blur spot, right? But if you're really not paying attention, you just take a quick glance, you may not even notice that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that, undo it again, and there's the original. So that's a pretty cool feature, something that you can play with and have some fun, cool. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We'll go ahead and check out this case really quickly. Push down the strap until it is secured. Go ahead and put on the S24 and we'll have a look, see what it looks like. And there it is. Now I have to say the soft touch material does feel really nice in the hand. Gives it a nice grip. Feels good on your skin, soft touch. Here's your cutouts. Access to the S Pen. Nice and easy. And the button clickiness is still there. And same thing with the volume. Yeah, no issues with the uh, buttons here. And I do like the individual cutouts here for the camera module. Looks very like a finished product. Nice and precise. I do like that. Now this is the uh, the standing feature of the case. So if you do that, you can use that as a kickstand. You can go ahead and watch media on a flat surface if you're out and about. And I do like the contrasting yellow here with the purple. That's pretty cool. I like that. And it kind of goes back by itself. That's nice. How do you get it to stay? Oh, there we go. It just locks into place. Let's see, do that again. Ah! No edits doing this live. All right, so you push this down until it clicks. So that locks the strap in kickstand mode, right? And then you can do it like this. You can do it like this for a different angle. Now, can you do it like this? 
no, you cannot do it like that, unfortunately, but you can do it like this or like this if you want a little bit more flat. This is a nice case. That's pretty unique. Different take on the kickstand. Now to undo it, it's kind of difficult. You gotta, there you go. And it folds flat again. Now you can also kind of, let's see, kind of just do it like this, right? And put your finger in here to have a much better grip on your phone, right? So that's cool. Multi-purpose, I love it. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to do with this phone. Speed tests, durability tests, camera tests, etc. Versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So you can see. Versus its predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from 2023. Versus Google Pixel 8, OnePlus 12, that's coming up real soon. Samsung Galaxy Fold series, the Flip series, etc. Let me know what you want me to do with S24 Ultra in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.